Hi, Jesse. Hi. Uh, I love your show. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. So uh, my question was, what can women do in the community to kind of support men and help in, you know, doing what's right? Because it just seems conflicting to me in the sense of, of course, you know, I don't want to be in that leader role because that's not really my right role, but I, I'm not too sure what I can do then to try to support men. What um, you what you do is is the same thing I recommend for men. Seek the kingdom of God in his right way. And then yeah. you you will become right and you will mm-hmm. do right and you will see what to do because God mm-hmm. will guide you. What people don't really know is that within all of us, there is a kingdom of heaven. There's a light of God in us. His love, his energy is perfect. And once you become his daughter, he will guide you. You can't plan ahead of what to do. You will see in the present, in the moment, but you can only see by the light. So I would just live that way and let the light guide you. Mm. Okay. And then... Okay, I, I can definitely do that, especially um, I did, like, forgive my parents. Good. Um, which is really funny because uh, even even though you direct it to men, I think it does go to women as well. To it overcome does. Your mother. Absolutely. Mothers <laughs> because... have recreated, recreated the daughters in her image, too. That's why she's able to control them. Yeah. And it's so crazy because a lot of people, when I hear them talk here, they're like, oh, how can you find truth without the Bible? I'm like, if you really kind of observe what has happened, you'll see everything, um, which is funny because even before here, li- listening to you, yes. I did understand my mother was in control of me um, regarding simple things in my life, Yep. which was, it was kind of crazy. And then when I forgave her, she... She seemed to have a lot of resent towards me, but I didn't um, say anything to her. I was just like, you know, um, I understand if you want to explain, you can explain, but I'm like, I'll just, I just forgive you no matter what you're saying because this is for me. Right on. That's amazing. <laughs> it, it is amazing. <laughs> it is my girl, but actually, you're absolutely right. The truth is inside of us. We already know the truth, and you're just mm-hmm. being reminded of what you already know. So when you deal yeah. with your mother, when you deal with anyone, you're going to deal with them in the right way because you can see. And it's for yeah. men and women, and women must be born again as well. And mothers do recreate the daughters in her image, too. That's why the daughters are suffering. They get the same kind of man the mother got. They treat their yeah. husband or boyfriend and children the same way they were treated. That's why they, too, have to overcome the mama. Yeah, it's it's very it's very interesting to to do that, especially um, because even as a woman, I can see that women really are the core of evil. Because even I think more because of my family dynamic, yes. I kind of tried to grow into that leader role that I didn't see because I read about it or I saw it in other people. So. Women, even at a younger age, I couldn't stand because there was so much drama. And I always saw that, oh, you know, this isn't helping anyone. Yes. <laughs> That's <laughs> so right. It's really, <laughs> so it's so hard to deal with them. Um, so then as well, uh, obviously, you know, we as women, like even I can tell it's really easy to look to a strong man. Like I really do listen to you because it's hard to find um, a strong man in my community. Yes. Um, that represents really what is right. They'll say one or two things, and then, for example, to be, oh, pro LGBTQ, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to listen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> How old are you, Ashley? I am 20. Wow. Ashley. Yeah. You are so blessed. You're so fortunate to be waking up at 20 years old. You have. It's, you're going to have an amazing life. It's going to get better and better. And you're fortunate to be waking up at such an early age. Yeah. It, it's, it's really, I feel very blessed. Yes. Um, and it, it's awesome because I wish, you know, obviously we understand why there's not too many women calling in because really the man's a leader and all that stuff. So I wish more women would try to really be honest with yourself because even I realized 
how evil I was to yes. my past relationship. And, it, you know, that's really hard to admit that you were a <laughs> complete a-hole. <laughs> so I was like, oh, no. Um, and it, it's, so, it's so awesome because, you know, uh, I think a lot of women, if you're listening out there, you know, if you really do what's right, you don't need to tell a man. They'll really just see that. And I think when they see, like, a strong woman, they just immediately try to step up because, um, you know, I feel like if, if they're really in the right way, when they see a strong woman, they'll be like, man, if that's a real woman, I need to be above that. Yes. I think that's awesome. That's right. The uh, yeah, so. the beginning of freedom, the beginning of overcoming that fallen state is to admit that you're evil. And the yeah. hardest thing in the world for even men to do because they have the woman's nature is to admit that they're evil. But once you can yeah. admit it, that's when you overcome it. But it's yeah. hard for people to admit that. It, it is very hard, uh, especially... Um, because of my, my age and the people around us. Yes. It's like, it's so normalized the fact of being mediocre, being submissive, being a loser. And it's so odd to see. Um, and I, I feel very, very sad towards the like, people my age and younger because they don't know any better. Right. Simply just because they're not even old enough, too. Yep. Um, and they have and, bad parents. They didn't have good examples in their home. Yeah, like the the craziest thing that really that I don't see a lot of people who are older might see it. But for example, because I'm younger and involved in the, the younger generations, is I'll see simple things through like posts, like TikTok, and they'll be like, "Oh, you guys still have a mother and father? What's that like?" And that's normal. <laughs> and I'm like, "What the heck? That's what so, the? <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing! <laughs> amazing!" Know? Ashley, Amazing. you have made my day. I wish that all women would understand what you just said. They would have an I amazing know. life, too. It would be I know. salvation is yeah. for all people, not just for men. It's just that men yeah. are needed so they can help the woman overcome. But women can be free yeah. without the man. They can overcome by forgiving. Of course. Yeah. And, and it's so funny, too, when you discuss about being intellectual. Like, I would say I'm intellectual, but not in the crazy stuff but yes. even even when if you're if you're really a woman and you're intellectual what you'll find the truth is is like your role is really to be under the man and when i realize that it seems so how do you say it, counterintuitive it's like oh we've come here and we've we've revolutionized the world but the revolution is to be submissive to a strong man is like kind of hilarious amazing beautiful <laughs> <laughs> yeah you so absolutely I, I really right. thank you, Jesse. You're welcome, Ashley. It's, it's awesome to at least say that, man, yeah, like, uh, if I don't have anyone here in, in my, you know, community, yes. I have you to look up to. And I, I always tell guys that I talk to because I don't want to talk to them too much and lead them in case you, you say, like, oh, they'll look at me as their God. I always yes. say, I'll say something, but then I'll say, please listen to Jesse, you know, <laughs> because you're a dude and I'm a woman. I don't want you to... You know, always look up to me because it should be on your own. Well, I love the fact you're pointing them, though, back to themselves. They got to look within. And if they're yeah. here to show, at least they will hear the truth. And some of them would see that it's true and they become, they will overcome the fallen state. Yeah. And, As um, it, you have made my day. <laughs> I'm so happy, too. And I have a, another question. Because yes. Because this regards the one. Um, I, I used to, uh, I had a lot of male mentors and now more following you and really, really just focusing on my relationship with God. I realized a lot of my mentors are beta <laughs> and, <laughs> um, like, uh, one of them, he is, uh, he's black, uh, you and he's a CPA. <laughs> I love when you do that. Uh, he's a CPA and stuff like this. And, uh, I forgot how we we're just discussing what's going on because he's involved in, um, uh, like our local government. And I shared a video of you, uh, I don't, it wasn't get a job, it was just someone else that edited it, really um, funny. Right. When you talked about Mary and Barry and how he's a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I shared that to him, and it's so funny because even political sides of you, like, it was it was funny. And he got all, like, crazy, he's like, Jeff, what's wrong with America? And I was like, you know, I just asked, like, oh, you know, what is he wrong about? And, yeah. you know, explain more about Mary and Barry. And even I didn't really look into him, 
because I, I trust you for what is right. Yes. Um, but after I even looked into him, I saw, oh, he divorced several yep. times. He's yep. a crackhead. He took all this money. And then all he simply said, well, he's a black representative and for the black people. And I was like, oh, my gosh, okay. <laughs> That's amazing. It, it's it unfortunate amazing. that most, not all, but most black people into their color, they don't care about yeah. character. Character doesn't mean a thing, even to some of the Christian uh, uh, blacks. It's not about yeah. character. They don't care about that at all. They're just into the blackness. And so yeah. they're separated from God. They are separated from values. They don't believe in God anymore. Yeah. It, it, it's really sad to see because yeah. Yeah. I think... Um, as a woman, too, because our nature is to, like, nurture the man to be, like, his best self. Is like, I'm really a huge person on seeing, you know, what could, what's really the good in someone? What can, what could someone really accomplish? And to see that and then see that they put themselves down, it's just disheartening, you know? Yeah, well, when you see those down. guys like that, just be honest and let them know they're beta. Beta! <laughs> <laughs> but I got I know, it's... Ashley, I could yeah. talk to you all day, but I got to run, and I appreciate you. Call me again, okay? Yes, I gladly will. Okay. Oh, and I want to thank my friend, uh, Drew, for sharing him, um, sharing you with me. If you're listening, Drew, right thank on. you very much. Thank you, Drew. <laughs> I love you, Jesse. I, I love you, too, Ashley. <laughs> call me again. Amazing call. Of course. Amazing. Bye. Thank you. Right on. Ladies, it's meant for you, too. Salvation is for all who are willing to receive it. But you got to admit, it's you, that you're wrong. You have this evil spirit. Then you will overcome it. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.